Hey guys, so we're gonna be trying some new makeup today. I did a haul video, so I'm gonna be pulling some things from that haul video to try on today, like the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Tinted Cream. It has an SPF 30. Since it's like broiling hot summer here right now, I figured a tinted sunscreen would be very appropriate, so I'd really like to try this out. Um, I also hauled the Nude Sticks and Alana Davison uh, collab, and so I wanted to try the Nudies Matte Stick in Picante. I think you can use this, I'm hoping you can use this on your lips, I'm sure you can. Um, it's actually a blush color, but I have some other blush. Anyway, I'm gonna figure out how to play with this um, because I was sent from a very, very dear subscriber here. She sent me two of the Givenchy Prism Libre blushes, and I can't get my hands on these because I don't think they're for sale in the US, but she sent me two shades, number two and three. One is like a pink and one is like a peach. I'm hoping that by the time I put up this video, it's available somewhere. I can find it for you guys somewhere. Anyway, I will leave a link down below in the description box if I am able to locate this. But I did do like a quick search when I started to see um, influencers talking about this, but they were all like I think in Canada and Europe and I haven't been able to find them. Anyway, moving on. Um, I did also haul uh, some other nude sticks things like mascara, whatever, but they did also send me their brow boost and set gel extra large XL. So I want to try this for my brows. Um, Laura Mercier sent me their latest highlighting powder in Rose Glow. And this is part of their, I think it's their Rosy Glow collection or Rose Glow collection, and they have some caviar sticks as well, uh, which they sent me, but I really wanted to try this highlighter powder today, and I am so excited to show you guys this eyeshadow quint. This is the latest from Dior. This is their Cruise 2022. Yes, we're talking about Cruise 2022 already. This is their quint for that collection. And I did some Instagram posts for this, and I just am so excited about this quint. It's so beautiful. It's so just me. I love their quints. I love the formulas that they've come out with since like redoing their whole quint line. And this color story, I mean, yes, yes. I just, I love it so much. So we've got lots of fun stuff to play with. Let's go ahead and get started with the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Tinted Cream SPF 30. And this has um, physical sunscreen in there. So there's some titanium dioxide and some zinc oxide. I'm just going to shake it up comes in this tube. All right, gonna squeeze some out onto the back of my hand. Woo, <laughs> squeeze a little too hard. There is the texture, it looks very nice and creamy. Is it even running down my hand? It's not even really running down my hand. All right, so I've got my rougher foundation brush here and work that in. No fragrance whatsoever, which is really great for a sunscreen. Like no fragrance at all, no scent at all. Okay, so it is very, very light coverage. Um, I still feel like I see, you know, the redness around my nose. It's so interesting because it has like a very skin-like finish, which is unusual, I think, for SPFs. SPFs in general um, have a very kind of radiant, glowy appearance, almost oily, in fact. But this has a very skin-like appearance, but it's very, it feels like it should look very, very glowy. Like it's not really setting down which is okay. I mean, I could probably fix that with a little bit of powder, but it's, um, oh, it's so interesting because it feels like it should look a lot more glowy, but it's very, very skin-like. So the back of the bottle says broad spectrum, lightweight protection with a sheer invisible tint. Okay. That's a very interesting description because a tint to me says there's going to be a tint, but it's a sheer invisible tint and a matte finish. Yeah, it definitely, it's not, it's not glowy. I think that's so interesting. Um, use as a makeup primer or on its own, enrich with antioxidants and vitamin C. There it is all over my face. There's really not a lot of coverage. I don't think that it's saying it's gonna have a lot of coverage, so it's not really a surprise. And I think the tint in the product is probably to keep it from giving you too much of a white cast because it is using uh, mineral physical sunscreen, which generally has that white kind of powdery like appearance to it. And I think the tint is just counteracting that. I don't think it's actually for coverage. So that was uh, my bad on my assumption. So this product for me wouldn't take the place of like a base product. Um, if I wanted it, it just is a nice sort of mineral sunscreen option. 
that's really nice. Well, this is like kind of perfect for the mood that I'm in. If you guys watched my video yesterday, it really has just been too hot to just kind of pile on for me, at least if you are into it, by all means, more power to you. But for me personally, I just, I can't, I can't like put all that stuff on my face when it's so hot outside. So this is kind of perfect for me. So what was the SPF again? It is 30. Okay. So not bad. Not bad. All right, well, there is my base. I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. So I'm gonna use my uh, favorite Dior Skin Correct Concealer in shade 2N, and this will actually be a good test to see how this concealer sits on top of uh, this SPF. I'm gonna use my Trish McAvoy Deluxe Blending Brush. Okay, it's sitting on top quite nicely. So that is great. I do think I am gonna use a little bit of powder though because I just feel like I can feel the sunscreen just sort of sitting on my face. So let me grab some loose powder to set this down. All right, I've got the Tatcha, the Silk Powder, and I've really been enjoying this. I think this is a good powder for me and my you know, dry skin in the summertime when, <laughs> I keep saying this, when it's really hot out and I'm sweaty and all of that stuff because it is like pretty mattifying. So I'm just gonna go in with my Ciroc face brush knock off any excess and just pounce. Okay, yeah, I feel like the powder did the trick. So in terms of bronzers, I wanted to try the Makeup by Mario uh, Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. So I haven't tried the stick yet for you guys. Um, I just was sent this in PR, which was such a nice surprise. Um, but I did try the powder bronzer, which I really enjoyed. So I thought I would give this one a shot. So I'm using light medium, which is the shade that I used in the powder bronzer, and that worked out really well. So I thought this would be a good match. So I just put powder down, so I'm a little afraid of just swiping. So I'm gonna grab my Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush, and I'm gonna swipe it over the sculpting stick. And just going to tap that. Wow, that's... That's an intense contour right there. Um, I'm going to tap this where I want to uh, contour. And let me get the excess off here. And I'm just going to kind of pounce and swipe. I don't really want to swipe too hard again because I put powder down. I really don't want to disturb any of the product underneath. So I'm just going to press like this to kind of blend out. Wow, that blended out beautifully. And I like the tone of this too. It's uh, much like the powder bronzer of uh, Makeup by Mario's. It just is a very neutral tone. It's not too cool, it's not too warm. I just think it's gonna work beautifully if you wanna contour or if you wanna bronze with it. Add this to this side. And the texture of this um, stick is great. It's really blending out really easily. Now I'm gonna take a close look and see if any of my makeup moved or did anything funky. No, I think actually it looks pretty good. All right, my hair on the other hand does not look that great. Anyway, moving on. I'm really, really excited to try these Givenchy Prism Libre blushes. So let me um, unpack these two. So these are smaller. These are smaller than the powders. So here is a loose powder and here is a blush, so it's almost, it almost looks like a deluxe travel size of the powder, maybe a little bit bigger than that, but it's it's smaller than the regular powders. Okay, so this is the number three, the Voile Coral. So those are two out of the four chambers, and then these are the other two. We have number two, which is more of a rose. So those are two, and then these are the other two. I think, especially if I wanna play around with um, the Nude Sticks Picante, I think I should go for the coral one. And it has this mirrored top, which I don't wanna blind you with, but the top is mirrored, which is really cool. So this literally is like the powder, exactly like the powder, it's just smaller. There's a little poof, which I think would be a little awkward to apply blush that way, but you never know. Okay, here is, wow, here's a really, <laughs> really heavy swatch of this coral blush. I just had to pour some out. I couldn't get any in any sort of graceful way. All right, I've got my Surat cheek brush. I'm actually gonna pick up what I have on the back of my hand. It was such a heavy swatch. And apply some. It's so bright. Wow, you really don't need a lot. I understand now why it comes in such a small 
container, but I wish you didn't have to like dump it out because I feel like I'm gonna waste quite a bit every single time I do that, but I can't think of a better way to get the product like out. Okay, the color is incredible. That is beautiful. The finish of this, it's a little bit more matte than I would like. I wish there was a little bit more of a satin sheen to it. So I don't know, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe next time they'll make it a little bit more satin. The Elusive Prism Libre Blush from Givenchy. Oh, well, a huge thank you to my subscriber that sent this over to me. Just wow. It was such a lovely surprise to get the box. Next Thanks. up, we have the Laura Mercier Rose Glow Highlighter. This packaging is really beautiful. And here is the highlighter. Ooh, very pretty. It's like champagne with just a hint of like a rosiness to it, which is nice. I was worried it was going to be a little bit too cool toned, especially next to this coral blush, but it actually looks great. And upon first glance, this looks like a typical kind of pressed powder formula, but it reminds me of her blushes, the Color Infusion blush, which is, it's just such an interesting formula because it feels so hard, but it's not, it's actually not pressed hard. I think it's just, I don't know, I think it's just a very unique formula because you can pick up products really easily, but it just feels really hard in the pan. And there's a similarity to this highlighter. This one is maybe a little bit softer, but yeah, there's a similarity there. Anyway, let me go ahead and grab a highlighter brush. I'm actually gonna grab the Surratt highlighter brush and just add a little bit here. Ooh, really pretty. Very pretty, very smooth, very nice. Hope you guys can get a good sense of the shade there. It really is coming off just like a, like a nice like champagne highlight on my skin. The rosiness that I see in the swatch isn't really translating too much now that I have it on my face. All right, let's move on to the Nude Sticks Brow Boost and Set Gel XL. So I think this is just clear. Yeah, this is just clear. So let me get out a brow pencil. I actually have my Gucci brow pencil here, which is one of my favorite pencils. It's a powder pencil. It just looks so great in the brows. I have it in the shade 4 Brun, I believe. All right, so the Gucci brow pencil is down. Let's go in with the Nude Sticks gel. So it comes in what looks like a tube, but then there's like a great spoolie size. I like when they're short like this, but not too narrow. Like I like that there's actual bristles on there. I smell, I smell like alcohol on here. I wonder if that's gonna fade. Oh, nice. My brows are still like malleable almost like a pomade, like it's definitely making my brow hairs behave, which they don't like to do. So they're definitely behaved, but it's not, they're not stiff. Oh, lovely, lovely. Okay, thank you, Nude Sticks. Let's move on. Oh my God, the Dior uh, Quint for Cruise 2022. Is there an actual name for this? Yeah, Cruise Look, and it's number 022. I love this quint. So Dior sent this over to me and they actually sponsored an Instagram post and some Instagram stories using this quint. Um, I love it so much. I'm using it in today's video, which is not sponsored at all. I just wanted to use it and wanted to show you guys. But isn't that beautiful? I think it's on their site, on the Dior site exclusively through tomorrow. And then I'm not exactly sure what happens. I don't know if it's gonna go to retailers or or what, but it's on their site through the 20th, through Sunday. And after that, who knows? But I just think it's so beautiful. So here are some swatches of this quint. I'm just going around in clockwise direction here and then I'm ending with the shade in the middle. Isn't this just beautiful? I mean, you guys can see why I love <laughs> I love this neutral, versatile palette, but it's it's so gorgeous. All the shades in here have a beautiful satin finish to it, and they're just stunning on the lids. Okay, I'm gonna start with this shade up here, and if you did see my Instagram post, I actually have this shade, uh, this more golden one, like all over my lid, but I wanna try this one, which has just a little bit of a peachy, pinky hint to it, and put this all over my lid. And I'm using my Sonia G Worker One brush. Oh, this, color is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this quint was, so this quint was inspired, the colors in this quint um, was inspired by the Cruise 2022 collection. 
and I actually haven't gotten a chance to look at the actual collection, but wow, I love these colors. I'm really excited to take a look. So I hope you guys can see that little bit of like peachiness. There's a little bit of like a copper reflect, very subtle, but like a little bit of a coppery kind of reflect in there. All right, I'm gonna grab, um, this is a Coyuto brush. I can't remember the name of it and it's not on here, uh, but I'll leave a link to it down below in my description box. Anyway, I'm gonna grab this brush and I'm gonna go into the center shade. I didn't actually get a chance to use a center shade for those Instagram posts. I used this shade to kind of deepen everything out, which was wonderful. But I wanna use this one today because it has a little bit more of uh, warmth to it. It has a little bit of that copperiness to it. And I think it'll bring it out in this tone that I just laid down. So I'm gonna grab a little bit with this brush and just add it to the outer corner here. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Look at that pigmentation. This brush is so great, I think, for blending two shades together. It acts as like one of those charcoal stumps. I just use like these short back and forth strokes and I really feel like I'm getting like the two <laughs> colors together. Yeah, I'm like really combining that deeper shade and the lighter shade here. All right, I'm just gonna leave it with those two colors because I'm so enamored with how that looks on the lid. I think it looks so pretty. So that is the uh, Dior Quint for Cruise 2022. <laughs> I still can't believe I'm saying 2022. Um, I don't have any new eyeliner or anything, so I'm just gonna use my Pat McGrath Blitz Brown because I know it's on my vanity somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. So I'm gonna throw this on and then I'll come back and we'll play with the By Terry Mascara. All right, I'm using my Refer Lash Curler, which I've really been enjoying. And I've got the By Terry Mascara. The name of this one is the Mascara Terribly. And I have only tried the Lash Expert Mascara. That's the one with that cool wand that like, you can change it from like volumizing to lengthening and you twist the cap. Anyway, that's the only mascara I've ever tried from By Terry. So I'm excited to try a different one. And they sent over like a dop kit with some uh, like mini deluxe travel sized products that would be just, you know, perfect for travel. And so this is, um, a mini size of that mascara. So let's give this a shot. I believe I'm gonna assume I have shade. Yeah, I have number one black. So wand, very traditional. Okay, not bad, not bad. I feel like when it comes to mascara, it really is all about how it wears. Does it smudge, does it flake? So I'll leave a pinned comment down below just to let you know how this wore and how everything else wore. But so far, so good. It looks nice on my lashes. Oh my God, are we down to the final step? I feel like that was really quick. Well, anyway, I wanna try the Nude Sticks um, Alana Davison Nudies Matte in Picante. So this says it's a blush color. I'm gonna try using it on my lips. Oh wait, on the back it says, a multitasking balm to create a soft cheek blush and creamy lip. Awesome, for an easy all over face natural hashtag go nude but better look. <laughs> okay, so. This is the Picante shade. Oof. Is that not just perfection? Look at that. It is even more orange than the Gucci Agatha orange. Wow. This is a very big stick to just be applying <laughs> to my lips directly, but I'm gonna go for it. There's like a little bit of a sheerness to it. Definitely makes it a lot less intimidating. And it's matte, but it's a soft matte. It just literally like lacks any shine, but it doesn't feel dry or anything like that. Mm. Oh, I just love this color. And in this formula, it's so good because it's it's soft. There's like a like an airbrush kind of effect to it or like a popsicle stain kind of effect. A big thank you again to Nude Six and Elena Davison for sending this over along with that amazing bottle of tequila. I don't know if you guys caught that PR haul. <laughs> But there was a beautiful bottle of tequila on there that is sitting on my kitchen counter that my husband has been eyeing. He's just waiting for like one of those good days where he feels like he deserves like a Sue Ellen at the end of the day. He's waiting for that day. I see him like looking at it longingly and like kind of picking up the bottle and then he puts it down. <laughs> Anyway, the day is coming. So that is it for this try and haul. Again, I'll leave a pinned comment down below letting you know how everything wore. I am very curious to see how um, this 
tinted SPF wears, this one from MD Solar Sciences, how this mascara wears, um, everything else I'm fairly certain is going to look fine. Like the Dior Quint, you know, this eyeshadow formula, I think it lasts on me. It lasts all day. I never have any fading or any fallout or anything like that. And the Givenchy blushes, I mean, just gorgeous. Anyway, check that pinned comment. I'll give you updates down there. And that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.